Hello, people. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Mr. Montoya. Hello. Hello. How was your day? My day was pretty good. What about yours? My mind was relaxed. Sounds great. Yeah. yeah I finished my classes this, this uh, last week and this week. So at the moment, I only have this group. So the whole day was fine. Just looking at, looking after my my All granddaughter. Right. Mm. Yeah, I look up for my granddaughter here. Okay. I have. It was good. I didn't work too much today. Okay, it's time to get started. I will take the first the, no, the attendance right now. Alejandra Beatriz Guzman. Here. Uh, Andrea Fabiola Menjivar. Yet. Cecilia de Los Angeles, Adrian. Here, teacher. Okay, welcome. Cesar Guadalupe Enriquez. Good evening, present teacher. Okay, welcome. Edgar Abel Tejada. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Edson Stanley Hernandez. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Elvira Lorenza Alvarez. Responding, responding. Ileana Marielos Guerrero. I'm here. Okay, welcome. Just give me a second. Here. Okay, Irma Raquel Garcia. Present teacher. Okay. Joana Yesenia Garcia. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Jose Daniel Chavez. Present teacher. Um, Catherine Alejandra Hernandez. Here, Nidia Esmeralda Marroquín. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Rafael Alejandro Anaya. Hi, teacher. Hi. Reina Elizabeth Guerrero. Present teacher. Okay, welcome. Samuel Isaac Flores. And Tania Pamela Montoya. Present, mister. Okay. Alejandra Beatriz, Andrea Fabiola. 
Catherine Alejandra. What is the R? Hey, be careful, guys, because some of you, well, I'm just checking this please. attendance, and some of you connected just for a few minutes like 20 minutes, 11 minutes. And that's good, but it's not the, the, the best because you must have the 60 minutes, you know, in order to, to approve the, the modules, you need an 80% of attendance, but not just 80% of days, but 80% of all the minutes, okay? So, Classics, 60 minutes per class are like 700, um, like 900 minutes or something. 80% of that is like to approve to pass the level. Okay, so be careful with it. Okay. Well, let's see. What are we going to do tonight? Last class, we saw a com the conversation, right? We read the conversation between Tracy and Mark talking about their jobs or the possible jobs. Um, just let me respond. Okay. Okay, just uh, let let me read one more time the conversation just touch base on that. Okay. Guess what? I found a summer job. That's great. Anything interesting? Yes, working at an amusement park. Wow, that sounds fantastic. So, have you found anything? Nothing yet, but I have a couple of leads. One is working as an intern for a record company, mostly answering phones. Or I can get a landscaping job in. Being an inter sounds more interesting than landscaping. You have better hours and it's probably not as much work. Yeah, but a landscaper earns more than an intern and you get a great tag. Okay, they are establishing some comparisons between the two jobs. Answering the phone or an intern at, at an office and landscaping. They compare the possibilities or the um, the pros and cons. Being an inter sounds more interesting than landscaping is stress. The other aspect is that you uh, would have better hours. The other is that probably not as much work. But Mark says, yeah, but landscaper earns more than an int. Why would you prefer working as an intern in an office or working as a landscaper? Write in the chat, what would you prefer? Working as an intern or a record company 
or working as a landscaper? Write in the chat your choice, please. Intern, landscaper. Here in this chat of Zoom. I want to see your answers. Just write intern or landscaper. Like a summer job. Imagine that you are still a teenager or student and you're looking for a summer job. And you read this. What would you prefer? Waiting for your answers, people in the chat. Working as an intern or working as a landscaper? What is writing? Okay, Edgar says, I would prefer working as an intern. Intern? <laughs> yeah. I mean, what would you prefer? Elsa says an intern. Okay. Responding to that. What's up? Hey, only two are responding. Firma says an intern. Is is an intern, a uh, Rafaela and and landscaper. My is is an intern. Okay, let me see. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so most of you prefer working as an Okay. Or you don't like physical jobs or whatever. So in this lesson, we are going to study this different ways to compare. In this case, we'll be talking about jobs, but you can use these structures to compare whatever you want, okay? Look at this forms to establish comparison, okay? With adjectives, we can use more interesting than, less interesting than, uh, harder than, not as hard as. Uh, you can talk about different. Working as an intern is more interesting than working as a landscaper or an intern job is, or an in, um, landscaper job is less interesting than an intern job. Working as a landscaper is harder than working as an intern maybe. Or working as an intern is not as hard as working as a landscaper. 
Now with verbs. The verb we are using here, the verb earn. Doesn't earn. Yeah, an intern earns more, no. According to the conversation, a landscaper earns more than an intern. Oh, an intern learns, earns less than a landscape. Or if they earn the same, an intern earns as much as a, a landscaper, if they earn the same. Or according to the conversation, an intern doesn't earn as much as a rent. Okay. Now with nouns, establishing comparisons with nouns. As they say, an intern has better hours than a landscaper. A landscaper has worse hours than an intern. Working as an intern isn't as much work as working as a, a landscaper. An intern has qualification as a landscaper. Now with past participle. An intern is better paid, no, according to the conversation, no. Landscaper is better paid than an intern. An intern isn't as well paid as a landscaper. But an intern probably is better educated than a landscaper. So you see, we compare the two occupations, the two jobs with different forms. Okay. Any question with this, people? No teacher. So let's practice. Here we have some sentences. And you have to complete the sentences using the words in parentheses. Okay. So more than one answer is possible. Again, um, here is your opinion. Okay, so we we all may have different opinions. Oh, there is no uh, a unique answer for each sentence, okay? So, paid. We are going to use this past participle, paid. Oh, we say, first, an interior decorator is, According to my opinion, this is my opinion. An interior decorator is sent as well paid. I don't know if this is true or not, but that's what I think. An interior decorator isn't as well paid as a fashion designer. Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know, but that's what I think. An interior decorator isn't as well paid as a fashion. Okay. Uh, this is a verb. Uh, this is an adjective. It's a noun. Okay, so you can use the different form, right? So I will give you time to complete the, the six sentences on your own way. And later I will send you to work in, in groups to pair your sentences. Repeat, there is no unique answer, okay? Any question with the activity? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. I'm okay. Oh, okay. Okay, no problem. Let me share this.
Uh, okay, I'll give you 10 minutes to do that.
When you're done, please raise your virtual hand. Let me know that you finished. Okay, people, I will send you to working groups uh, and share um, the sentences that you have. Okay, if you have two, three, four, or it doesn't matter. Okay, share what you have. So let me form the small groups. Okay. Join the breakout room, please, and share whatever you have.
I'll send you to uh, groups, more groups as uh, your sentences, okay? Four minutes. Please, thank you. Um, hi. Hi, teacher. Okay, hello. Hello, teacher. Can you hear me? Yeah. With hear. Liana, we have a question. Uh-huh. When you question? use uh, a verb, for example, in the second, a secret agent, you use travel, right? Uh, mm -hmm. You need to add S at the end of the verb or is only in the case of he, she, and it? Well, this you have to conjugate as a third person singular. Okay, uh, in ways. the case of the of the six, we don't need to to add the s at final of the verb, right? Number six. Yes, we don't have to. to add. No, because it's plural. Arabic okay. instructors. Uh, and when and when we use uh, a negative sentences, uh, we don't use uh, we only use the the infinite. Okay, right. 
the base form of the verb. The base yeah. form, okay. Yes. Yeah, because we are using the auxiliary does. Does does. And the auxiliary has the conjugation, right? Okay. Yeah. Hmm? The verb go in the base form. All the negative sense. Okay, thank you. In, in present. Okay, I'd like to hear your sentences, some of your sentences, please. Well, let me share this. No, I don't want to share because I I have my own answers. So, I don't. so who starts? Let's see. Well, let me call my call you by name. Johanna, give me one sentence. Anyone. Okay, eh, solo que no la, no la escribí toda, sino solo la puesta. No ¿Podría compartir la, la pantalla? Ah. <laughs> Por favor. Okay, let me share the one that I have in WhatsApp because um, I don't have the answers there. Oh, and I didn't put it here. Okay. Sorry, I just copied. <laughs> okay. Here they are. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. The number five. Mm -hmm. Working as a comedian is harder than be, be a public speaker. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, Johanna, Thank pass you. the ball to another partner. Uh, Edgar. Okay, Edgar. Okay. Uh, number six okay. aerobic instructor does earn as much as soccer coaches okay um does earn or doesn't earn does earn that's affirmative yeah okay with you, you don't need the auxiliary in affirmative sentences. Okay. Just the verb. All right. Okay. Good. Uh, pause the ball, Edgar. Okay. Uh, Edson. Thank you, Edgar. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Uh, the number uh, four. Mm -hmm. uh, lands landscapers uh, has more education than veterinarians. Okay, landscapers. Remember, it's plural. Landscape landscapers. Yeah, it's plural. So, are we going to use have or has? Um, have. Ah, yeah. Have more, have, uh -huh. have more education than veterinarians. Okay, yes. Good. Pass the ball, please. And... Who? Uh, Caesar. Okay, Caesar. Okay. Number two, mm -hmm. uh, a secret agent travels more than a police officer. Okay, pass the ball. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Elvira? Elvira. 
Indira or Elvira? What do you say? We don't have any Indira. Elvira. <laughs> Elvira, okay. Elvira, are you there? I'm not sure if she can participate. Johanna. Johanna. Johanna was the first one. Um, Gaviliana, Irma, Jose, Nidia. Rafael. Okay, Rafael. Okay, which uh, number of sentence, sorry? Oh, any, any that you want. Uh, okay, aerobic instructors earns less than soccer coaches, in my opinion. I don't know. Okay. Good. How's the ball? Okay. Can you tell me uh, the first number, the first name that you say? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, well, okay. Tania, Reina, Nidia, Jose. Reina, okay. Okay, Reina. So... Reina Elizabeth. Polis. <laughs> okay. Um, number uh, number two. Okay. Uh, secret agent is um, more interesting. <laughs> A police officer. Ah, okay. You do something different. <laughs> A secret agent is more interesting than a police officer. Oh. No problem, that's okay. You're 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 thinking in Bond, James Bond. James. <laughs> okay, possible. Um and... we have Nidia, Tanya, Jose Daniel. Irma, I think. Diana. Irma. Okay, Irma. Number four. Okay. Yeah, landscape has more education than the veterinarian. Okay, good. How's the ball? Who? Jose Daniel. Jose Daniel. Okay, teacher number six. Hmm? Aerobic instructor airs less than soccer coach. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Anyone else voluntarily? As well, I'm not sure who's missing. Okay. Well, so these are different forms to compare things. Okay. So we studied all about those uh, structures. Just let me show you my ones. Uh, so as I told you, there's not only a correct answer, so this is about opinion, okay? This is what I did. An interior decorator isn't as well paid as a fashion designer, for example. A secret agent travels more than a police officer. An air traffic controller's job is not as artistic as a TV director's job. Landscapers have less education than veterinarians. Working as a comedian is harder than being a public speaker. Arabic instructors don't earn as much as so just some sentence. Okay. Now. Let's take a quick look. Uh, we don't have too much time, but let's take a quick look to this 
pronunciation exercise. This is about stress with compound nouns. Stress with compound nouns. Look at this, bus driver, taxi driver, gossip columnist, newspaper reporter, or director, orchestra conductor. So notice that the first word in these compound nouns has more stress. Yeah, these are compound nouns because they are form um, of two words, okay? Boss driver is a noun, but a compound noun because there are two nouns and involved in the noun, okay? So, and the first word has more stress all the time, okay? So you can have more uh, compound nouns talking about occupations. Uh, I don't know, for example, this author. What happened? Oh, Zoom is not working. So, police officer has one, I don't know. You can add more. So write another one in the chat, please. If you have another one. Call center. Okay, call center. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? Any Anything else? Any other one? Riverside. Uh, I think that's just one word only. Okay. Uh, take it. Two words actually, river and side. Yeah. Okay. Software developer. I don't know. Software developer. Huh? Developer. Okay. Software. R E. Software. Okay. Software. Did I, did, I, did I spell incorrectly somewhere? Only 10 p.m. <laughs> software, software, yeah. Uh, how many occupations now are found out? Soccer player and many other tennis player, basketball. So you see the stress is on the first word, usually, with these kind of nouns. Okay. Okay, well, I don't think we have. Um, well, I will send you an audio of this reading. We are going to read it tomorrow. We're going to work on this tomorrow, but I recorded the audio and I will send it to you today. So you can listen, read, practice. And tomorrow we are going to work on this. Okay? Okay. Right. Well, any question, people, so far? Not for the moment, teacher. Okay. No, teacher. Okay, people, so let's stop here. Remember, uh, working on the platform.
Are you up to date with the with the homeworks? Okay. Uh, or are you behind? Ah, maybe you're behind, right? Mm -hmm. They're sending messages that you know. Let me see. They say that by today you should be on the section three and midterm exam. Week two, let me show you. This week, you have to complete section three and midterm exam. This week. Oh, make sure you are updated with this, okay? Okay, teacher. Right? Okay, people. Work on that, please. And let me send you the audio. What's up on here? Yeah. The name strategies for keeping your job. Strategies for keeping. Adages. Okay, listen to it and we'll work on that too. Oh, good night, people. Take care. Bye, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Good, good night, night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Thank you.